What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of RC News, where we discuss the latest in gaming, tech, science, whatever. If it's been leaked, we're going to be talking about it. Quickly before we get started, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified when we upload more content. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the top headline today is there have been some confirmed statistics for the GTX slash RTX new NVIDIA lineup leak. It's all very confusing. There's a lot of misinformation and it's been a lot of speculation, but let's talk about what has been confirmed. So what has been confirmed is the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti lineup. They have been announced today. And what is true and what has been confirmed is that we are not seeing an increase in the VRAM capacity. So we're still gonna be sitting with eight gigs and 11 gigs for the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. But again, we're seeing that upgraded uh, Turing architecture from the old Pascal. And then we're also seeing a seriously decent increase in the amount of CUDA cores, which is gonna give you an overall performance boost, which is pretty cool. Now, what is still up to speculation and what, what I find quite interesting is the prices regarding these graphics cards. So according to WCCF Tech, the, the speculative prices of these are around $600 and $800 or $600 which are considerably cheaper than the current GTX lineup today. But that's a speculative price, probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna be close to like $1,200, $1,300. I can pay up the bum for that graphics card. One can hope, like if NVIDIA really does seriously decide to like undercut the market and basically kick AMD out of the water by saying here, we're offering you guys amazing performance at incredibly budgeted costs, that would be dope. With regards to that, we're hoping to see the release of the GTX 2060 and 2050 Ti, as well as the RTX 2070 in October, November, and September. We'll kind of figure that out. <laughs> I don't know when it is. It's October, November for the RTX 2070. No, it's November for the RTX 2070 and September and October for the RTX, the GTX's 2060s and 2050 Ti. So November, October, so regards to that we're hopefully seeing the release of the RTX 2070 in November and then we'll hopefully be seeing the releases of the GTX 2060 and 2050 Ti in September and October respectively. Now those are hopefully a bit, a bit more budget friendly than the current RTX lineups but again just speculative prices nothing confirmed it's all just kind of in the air at the moment. Moving on to Intel's new leak about them coming up with their own dedicated graphics cards in 2020 which is a ways away but would be interesting to see because we know Intel does the processor side of things very well and they were also some of the first pioneers in making headway in the integrated graphics space uh, being the first people to provide graphics cards that can stream 4k on Netflix stuff like that they were kind of flexing with their whole announcement but it'd be like done so I'm pretty excited to see what Intel has got coming out in 2020 still a way to way but also very strategic release time on their part with leaked information very strategic leak because all the hype around graphics cards, they're gonna be getting a lot of tension and a lot of hype towards that. In other leak news, something very interesting is that there was an accidental leak by Steam TVs, which is what they're calling it. So Steam has their own broadcasting service, which allows you to put up your own uh, content and then also watch some other content online, but it's very cuck. Like, let's just be honest, it's not lecker, it's not very user-friendly. And they accidentally put their website, their streaming service, Steam TV Live, which is gonna be a contender for someone like Twitch. So you're gonna be able to stream your games, you're gonna be able to do all that kind of things. And we'll see how that kind of holds up compared to Twitch when it is fully released, but that's some pretty exciting news. And then also on the back of, of the Steam TV thing, when they accidentally went live, it was streaming the Dota IT International Tournament. Uh, and the prize pool for that is $25 million. Like, come on, people. Yes, first place only wins like 10.9, only 10.9 million for five people. Oh, what happened to that? But I mean, 25 million prize pool is just absolutely absurd, dude. Like, that's crazy. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the headlines uh, coming up this week. Some pretty interesting releases out there. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and to come back on Friday for some more updates and all this awesome information. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this information. And we'll catch you guys towards the end of the week for another installment of Reality Check News. Pop, 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 peace.